So over the weekend, I was spray painting for several hours and my finger became numb. And I was like, I'll just spray through it. It's no big deal. And I kept spray painting. I probably spray painted for like six, seven hours, went through about six cans of spray paint. I know a lot more than I probably should have been doing. After several hours, finger still numb. Next day, finger still numb. I'm like, what the heck? What, what's wrong with this? <laughs> and it was, I'd press, press on stuff do stuff with my little index finger that I was using to spray paint the, the can, spray paint everything with, it was still numb. So I, I looked it up and what's actually happening in there is a little small nerve has been compressed from holding down so long. And this is not an uncommon thing. Like That's why you're watching the video because your finger became numb. Well, you know, tough luck. There's nothing you could do about it. There's nothing I could do about it. It's still numb right now. Uh, it was hurting a little bit sometimes if I try and like press down on stuff or do some weird spraying motion now that it'll get all tingly almost kind of like if you take a a battery and you tip it to the edge of your tongue I don't know if you've ever done that before try doing that that's kind of what it feels like a little bit on your nerve if you like I don't know mess with it but for the most part it's it just sucks you just can't feel anything it's almost like a callus that's not there anyway so to help prevent this for I mean, if you're watching this video, your finger's probably already numb, but for next time, what you could do is they have these little guns that you put on here, and it's literally like a trigger, like almost if you had to like spring a water bottle, and you put it on there, and so that way your finger doesn't go numb. Ah, they should probably put like a label or something on that. Anyways, hope this was useful.